Hey, what's going on guys? It's Sam here, and welcome to another episode of Top Snipes of the Week, where you guys send your snipes from PS4, Xbox, Switch, PC, you name it, and we rank them in a top 10 list. Now, as always, if you want to be in this weekly series, be sure to follow me on Twitter and tweet me your snipes at SixManSam, and if you can remember, use the hashtag Top Snipes of the Week. I also now will be accepting submissions via Discord too, so if you don't have Twitter, the link to that can be found in the description below the discord so another quick thing i want to mention just before we start is we are on the grind of 10k subs we're less than 300 subs away so if you're new consider subscribing as i live stream every single day here on youtube and i upload multiple times per week but regardless if you guys are new or not feel free to hit the like button and leave a comment it truly does help my channel grow it helps the youtube algorithm and just really helps out the success of this video but without further ado let's get right into the video So starting us off this week at number one, we have MM Black 1182, and he's no stranger to top snipes of the week. He's been on here before, and he got himself a Larry Legend, Larry Bird, one of my favorite players of all time, for a little under 60k here, which is about a 233k profit. Very, very nice for starting us off at number 10 here, and I did value this Larry Bird at about 325k. It's kind of surprising how much he still goes for, but then again, it makes sense because it's Larry Legend. But very nice snipe, MM Black. Welcome back to top snipes of the week. Coming in at number nine this week, guys, we have C1606 underscore, and he got himself the Galaxy Opal Magic Johnson, one of the glitchiest point guards in the game for 100 KMT. And yeah, this is one of the best point guards in the game, one of my favorite point guards in the game, and he got him for 100K. And I did look, and his price is actually very, very high today. I mean, it makes sense. Uh, all Pretty much the whole market's up and super inflated since we haven't gotten any new content since Thursday. And I looked and he's going for about 400K ish. So I, I value this type at about 375 just because I figured he didn't sell today. Maybe he did, maybe he didn't. But either way, that's about a 238K profit. Congratulations, C16 on the Magic Johnson snipe. Coming up next, number eight, guys. This is where stuff starts to get really crazy. I'm starting to see a lot of enable submissions where there's just multiple snipes in one refresh. And here's the first one today from Sam H091, and he got himself the Galaxy Bowl Stephen Curry and Galaxy Bowl Yao Ming in one refresh. And both those cards go for a good amount. I mean, Steph Curry goes for about 150 last I looked, and Yao Ming about 350 after the super pack. So this is about a 259k profit. Congratulations, Sam, on the crazy, I guess, duo snipe on the enable filter. Coming in at number seven this week, guys, we have Damien. No stranger to top snipes this week. I swear he's in here almost every week, or he's always submitting stuff every single week. And he got himself the Galaxy Opal Ben Simmons for 100K. And this card still goes for a good amount of MT. I looked today, he's going for about 400K. And again, I know the mark is inflated, but after accounting for the taxes, this is still a 360K profit, assuming he sold maybe this weekend and sold for around 400K MT. So congratulations, Damien, on the Ben Simmons snipe. Moving on to Xbox now at number six, we have Evan H24 from 2K Gamer, and he got himself the Galaxy Opal Trace McGrady, not the glitched one, but the leapier one for 100K MT, and this card still has a ton of value. I looked this morning, going for about 525, and I feel like that's almost even low. I swear, I've seen this card almost around 600K, so maybe, maybe I just looked before it reached peak price, or maybe I didn't see that the bid, what the bid ended at. But either way. 525k for this card still that's about a 373k profit congratulations evan on the crazy trace mcgrady snipe cracking the top five this week guys we have flawless victory another 2k gamer and another person that's no stranger to top snipes this week and he got himself the buzzer beater galaxy opal jason tatum for 100 kmt and i did get a lot of submissions and i just decided to go with this one just because this is one of the first ones i saw and flawless actually got two of these but this card is super super expensive and it's not even just because the market's inflated i mean that definitely contributes to it but this jason tatum card going for about 600k mt which is about a 540k mt profit congratulations flawless on getting not one but two jason tatums for 100 kmt keep up the good work man Coming in at number four this week, guys, we have Sam H appearing on the top 10 list again, and he got himself the Galaxy Opal Prime Series 3 Paul George, and this Paul George did lose a little bit of value from last week, but it makes sense just because that's how cards are this year. They're slowly going to lose value, and 
He was going for like 700K last week, which isn't sustainable with the number of Paul Georges that are out there. But anyway, this is about a 463K profit taking into account taxes and everything. So one hell of a snipe, Sam H. I don't know if you kept this or sold it. Maybe you're keeping it to lock in for Prime Series 3. But either way, congratulations on appearing not only once, but twice on the top 10 list. Crack in the top three this week. We have Andrew J11. I believe it's his first time being on top snipes of the week. Maybe I'm wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments below, Andrew. But he got himself the Galaxy Opal Glitch Tracy McGrady that can play point guard for 100k MT. And this card actually has gone up a little bit since the Super Packs, which makes sense. They dropped Super Packs right after Tracy McGrady went out of packs, which is kind of crazy. And now Tracy McGrady is going back up to about, I value this card at about 950k MT, and I'm sure some are going to go for a million, which is about a 755k profit. So crazy, crazy snap, Andrew. I don't know if you kept this card or sold it, but either way, you have one of the best point guards slash shooting guards in the game or a bunch of MT. Up next to number two, guys, you're going to see this and be like, how is this not number one? Well, we'll get to number one here in a second. But at number two, we have King James play on Xbox One. And here's our second enable or duo snipe of the day. And it's Shaquille O'Neal glitched and the Galaxy Bull Sean Kemp. Now, Sean Kemp doesn't go for too much last I checked. Maybe make like eight to 15K off that snipe. But Shaquille O'Neal, we already know he goes for over 1 million MT still. And I basically valued this entire snipe or both these snipes at 1.1 million mt which is about a 900k mt profit congratulations king james on this crazy crazy duo snipe and keep it up this is just insane i i kind of want to start sniping with enable filter now and coming in at number one this week guys this is probably my favorite snipe of the year probably the best snipe of the year the king the king of snipes right here TJ is goaded. I think it's his first time appearing on Top Snipes Week. Maybe his Twitter is just different, and I've seen him before. But either way, he's playing on Xbox One, and he got himself the Takeover Giannis card, which goes for over 2 million MT, and the Prime Series 2 Ben Simmons card. And I valued both these cards at about 2.6 million MT, which after taxes and everything, this is about a 2.15 million MT profit. Absolutely crazy. TJ's goaded. Congratulations on winning top snipes of the week and making a boatload of MT. But all right, guys, that's going to do it for this week's episode of Top Snipes Week. Thank you to everyone who submitted snipes. And if you don't see your name in the top 10 list or throughout the video, don't give up. Keep on submitting them because I try to get as many submissions in the videos as possible. And sometimes I just can't get all of them. But I think this episode, I got most of them in here. So, guys, thank you so much for watching. Again, we are on the grind of 10K subs and we're less than like 300 away. So, if you're new and you made it this far, why not sub up? Why not be a part of the 10K club? But thank you guys again, as always, for watching. Until next time, peace out.